Next, we will review the Accounts tab. In the context of the FOM app, an account represents a VA organization, and each organization has an account page that contains all of the information present on the FOM app for that given organization. This consists of all the most recent information submitted in response to a FOM data request, including the organization's overview, mission, activities, programs, and hierarchy, as well as associated authorities, BRM business functions, and cost centers. When you click on the Accounts tab in the navigation bar, you'll be taken to the Account Summary page. From here, you have several options on how you want to view the VA accounts within the FOM app. Let's choose the selection for All VA Accounts. This allows you to see all the VA accounts in a tabular view. There are two types of office types in the FOM app. The Administration slash Staff Office is one type, and the other is Organization. Every Level 1 office will be designated as an administration slash staff office, and any level below one will be designated as an organization. To open an account page, simply click on the hyperlink provided, or you can type the account name into the global search field. Each account page consists of two tabs, the Details tab and the Related tab. The Details tab will contain all of the organization's administrative type information. Let's walk through all the details in the Details tab. Account name will represent the organization's long name. This will be the name that is printed at the top of the account's FOM chapter, as well as within the automatically generated FOM org charts. It is best practice to keep this name as short as possible to ensure that the org charts print clearly. For instance, you may want to consider not using the term the office of unless it is deemed necessary by your, or your leadership. Parent account represents the account that is directly responsible for the organization. The acronym can enter your organization's acronym. The FOM document generator will also use this field to compile the acronym list in the FOM document. The mail code field should contain your organization's mail code. Level to Display in Hierarchy is a field related to the FOM app's ability to generate organizational charts that will be displayed in the FOM document. The number that is entered here will determine how many levels of the organization's hierarchy will be displayed in the FOM document. For example, if your organization has eight levels of detail documented, but a three is entered here, when the FOM document is generated, only three layers of your organization will print in the org chart. Org chart needed. If this box is checked, an org chart will be included in the FOM document with as many layers designated as listed in the Levels to Display and Hierarchy field. Not all organizations will have an org chart displayed in the FOM document. The Office Type field we briefly hit on earlier. The Administration slash Staff Office type represents the Level 1 VA offices. For example, VHA, NCA, Office of Management, and Human Resources Administration are all Level 1 VA offices. All VA offices that are below Level 1 should be designated as organizations. Now let's walk down the right-hand side of the top portion of the Details tab. The Active field designates an account as active by having Yes displayed or inactive by having No displayed. Having this information will enable us to be able to run reports that will display the offices that are currently active versus the ones that have been dissolved over a given period of time. Every VA or organization will have a level designated. The levels are used to determine whether, where within an organization a specific office resides. When you create a new account and designate a parent account, the level will automatically generate based on that parent. The Account External ID is a Salesforce-generated field. When a new account is created, an Account External ID will be assigned. This will ensure that the data associated with a particular office will always remain linked, even if the organization's name is changed. The Point of Contact field should contain the organization's FOM point of contact. The External and Internal URL fields are fields where you'll be able to link an internal or external organizational link. 
The account owner will be automatically generated by the system and will default to the Salesforce user that created the account. The Details section contains the mission, overview, and activities fields for an organization. Only a Level 1 administration slash staff office is required to enter a mission statement. However, there is no harm in other level organizations documenting their mission in this field. The Overview and Activities section are for Level 2 and below. In other words, a Level 1 administration slash staff office is not required to enter any information in these sections. The Overview section provides a broad, high-level synopsis of the organization's purpose and functions, and the Activities section of the FOM provides a high-level bulleted list of the organization's primary activities. It is best practice to limit this section to four to eight bullets. The org chart field image field is an upload field where an organization can upload an organization chart. If the FOM app generated org chart for the user's organization is not acceptable, because the organization titles are too large for the formatted template size, the user should upload their own JPEG or chart image here. When a new account is created, the parent account is a mandatory field. From the parent account's information, the FOM application can automatically assign an organization's hierarchy. That hierarchy will appear here in the details page. Level zero will always be the Department of Veterans Affairs with all the successive levels related to the organization documented below. Currently, the FOM app is designed to hold up to 10 levels of detail. The Program Selection portion of the Details tab relates to the Office of Management's program list. When a FOM account is created, you will be able to choose from a drop-down of the Office of Management's programs that your organization maps to. This is not a required field. The system information is system-generated and contains information about the Salesforce user that originally created the account and the user that last modified the account. The next tab available for each FOM account page is the Related tab. The Related tab is where you'll be able to map your organization with different data sets that are possibly also shared with other organizations. For instance, a contact can be designated for more than one organization. To relate a contact to an organization, simply select the New button and provide the requested information, followed by selecting Save. You will then see that contact listed under the Related tab contact section. If there are any FOM data requests against the organization being viewed, they will appear here under the FOM data request box, along with their current status. The Authority Junction tab is where you will associate any laws, regulations, policies, and or directives that are associated or attributed to your organization. Select the New button. In the Authority field, you can search for an authority that you would like to map to your organization. For instance, if you want to map USC Title 38 Part 2, simply type USC Title 38 Part 2 into the search field and that authority will generate if it has already been entered into the Salesforce application. Select the authority, and then select Save. The association you just created will now appear under the Authority Junction box. You can edit and delete that association by clicking on the Authority Junction ID link and selecting either Edit or Delete. If the authority you are searching for is not already loaded into Salesforce, you will need to create a new authority before creating the association. You can create a new authority by going to the Authorities tab. If you would like to view all the authorities already loaded into Salesforce, change the view to All. If you still do not see the authority you want to associate, select the New button on the top right-hand corner of the authority screen. It is important to note that authorities have to be entered in a standard format. These formats are provided for you under the Acceptable Formats for Authorities heading. Let's create a new authority to associate. We're going to create VA Directive 456. We will enter a URL and description for that directive. 
and select Save. Now that our new authority is created, we will go back to our account page by selecting the Account tab. And since the recently viewed view is default, we can quickly navigate back to our organization's page. We will select the Related tab and choose the New button in the Authority Junction box to search for our newly created authority. After we select VA Directive 456, we will save that association, and that new association will now be listed. The Business Function Junction box works similar to the Authorities Junction. In order to select the business functions that your organization performs, select the New button. You will then be prompted with a choice on the kind of association you would like to make an organization to business function association, or an authority and business function association. The organization to business function association is when you are relating an authority directly to your organization and is the choice that we would select in this example. The authority and business function association helps you to create an association between an authority requirement and a business function. For example, Title 38 mandates that the VA provide educational services to, benefit, to veterans. This mandate would map to the business function to provide educational services in the BRM. After you select the organization to business function choice, you will be able to use the business function lookup box to search for the function you would like to relate to your organization. But before we begin searching, it would be helpful to have a copy of the business reference model. An updated copy is available on the FOM SharePoint site under the Other Resources tab. Also, if you need training on the business reference model, you can follow the URL provided under the business reference model training heading to access the BRM 101 training video. The Office of Enterprise Integration is also available to provide aid and assistance for linking your organization to the proper business functions. Information on how to reach the Office of Enterprise Integration is also available under the Other Resources tab on the FOM SharePoint site. If you already know the functions that should link to your organization, search for a keyword or a specific business function within the Business Function Lookup field. For instance, if your organization provides financial training, you can type financial training into the search field, and business function number 33 541, Conduct Financial Training will populate. Select that function and hit the Save button. You can repeat this process to relate as many business functions that your organization performs as necessary. The Cost Center Association box is used to relate the organization with the appropriate cost centers. Select the New button to begin the association. Type in your Cost Center code, a description. Identify if the cost center is a payroll cost center by either clicking the box if it is or keeping the box unchecked if it is not. And lastly, designate the fiscal year and select Save. The acronym box is an important one that shouldn't be ignored. If you use any acronyms in your office's overview, mission statement, list of activities, this is where you would define those acronyms. This box should be updated to include any new acronyms that may be added, as well as delete any that are no longer being used. To create a new acronym, select the New button. Let's say you are with the Veterans Health Administration and you use VHA in your FOM write-up. To enter VHA, you would type VHA in the acronym field and then Veterans Health Administration into the definition field and then select Save. If you wanted to create several acronym associations, you could have selected the Save and New button, which would then have taken you directly into another acronym creation screen. If you need to edit or delete an acronym that you've already created, simply click on the acronym name and choose either the Edit or Delete button to complete the task. The Notes and Attachments box is directly associated with the FOM document creation feature. The Salesforce app can create several types of FOM documents. The overall FOM document that would contain all of the information from the entire department, as well as FOM chapters. 
When we refer to FOM chapters, we are referring to a smaller subset of the overall FOM document. For instance, if you have a new hire coming on board and you want, want to give them an overview document of the offices within your organization, you can use the FOM app to create that document. 